Welcome back subscribers and welcome new viewers. And I want to thank each and every one of you who have subscribed, who like and share my videos because that helps my whole channel to circulate to more and more individuals who are in need of this information just like you. Okay, today I want to give a special thanks to Maya and I apologize for taking so long. I have been extremely busy because I'm doing a lot of private readings in person and online and any of you who are interested and would like my uh, private readings list, just send me an email, thecreativewoman369 at gmail.com. Okay, so Maya, thank you for enabling me to read from this Pluto book. And the author is Jeffrey Wolf Green. And this is going to be for all of you who have transiting Pluto going through your natal fifth house. Okay. And currently I am taping on August 1st, the super full moon in Aquarius in 2023 and so currently Pluto transiting Pluto is retrograde in Capricorn for the rest of this year and then for those of you who are going to need or listen to it later we will have mid-January 2024 transiting Pluto will go into Aquarius for approximately the next 20 years okay so, let's get started. Again, this is transiting Pluto through your natal fifth house. The archetype or theme of the evolutionary process is to induce an inner and outer situation through which the individual progressively learns to take charge of his or her own reality and to recreate his or her reality in order to reflect and establish the new creative impulses that are emerging from the depths of the soul. These new creative impulses will be directly linked to the very purpose of the individual's life. In addition, the process will necessitate that the individual examine the basis of why and how he or she has been giving to other people. Within this evolutionary need, it will also be necessary for the individual to examine the basis of the personal need to receive love and attention from others and to be considered important and special. With these two necessary lessons combined, the individual can now experience and perceive how self-centeredness conditions the manifestation and application of each need. In general, this process will promote a regeneration of personal creativity. Deep inner emotional surges of creative inspiration, feelings and desires will impact upon the conscious awareness of the individual. The new thoughts, feelings and desires will spur the individual to take charge of his or her destiny and personal reality. The effect will be to recreate personal reality in order to accommodate, apply, and express each new creative urge. Excuse me, not urge. Each new creative surges. The very purpose for the individual's existence will be reformulated as a result. This can be a time wherein latent or dormant capacities can now be developed. During this process, some individuals will necessarily become and or appear more self-centered and self-consumed than ever before. For others, it will require the breaking up or elimination of an overly self-centered focus 
so that the new impulses can be expressed. The key, in either case, is to allow oneself to move toward these new impulses as they occur, even if they demand letting go of preconceived ideas or beliefs as to what the individual identified as their purpose and direction in life prior to this time. The inner evolutionary impulse will also be reflected in our conditions and circumstances. The nature of these external conditions will depend on the specific nature and context of the individual's reality up to this time. Let's use the example of having a child to show how these principles could manifest. For some people, these circumstances and conditions will be associated with having a child as a reflection of personal creativity, giving and receiving, and a reformulated purpose in life. In these circumstances, the issues of giving and receiving will occur through the new baby. Self-centeredness can occur through narrowing the individual's focus to the needs of the baby and oneself. For some, having a baby will provide a vehicle to eliminate or change excessive self-centeredness and narcissistic behavior and orientations. For others, pregnancy may occur through a love affair or an extramarital affair. Others will become pregnant without having a conscious desire to do so. In all cases, there is a karmic connection with the baby and a karmic implication for the father as well as the mother. When Pluto begins its transit through the fifth house or when it is transiting the sun, progressed to the sun, sun progressed to Pluto, or Pluto in the solar return fifth house, an increase in fertility will normally occur. In other cases, the individual can experience emotional confrontations and difficulties with her, his or her own children. Just as the individual's needs to develop a new, excuse me, let me restart that again. Just as the individual needs to develop a new creative purpose, application, and identity to take charge of his or her own destiny, so too will his or her children begin to experience and manifest themselves in this way. This dynamic may pose a challenge or test of wills between all involved. When these conditions occur, it will almost always reflect a situation wherein the individual had been attempting to mold the identities of the children to fit his or her own image of who they should be. As the children begin to assert their own wills and demand for freedom to follow their own desires, they will directly challenge the individual's own desires of what he or she wants the children to do. This confrontation will promote the evolutionary need to examine the basis of how the individual perceives and gives to the children. Through confrontation and a clash of wills, objectivity can occur wherein the individual reformulates his or her image of the children to reflect their actual needs and inherent individuality. In so doing, he or she can now give to them what they actually need. Now that is beautiful. This process or condition will also reflect itself through the creative redefinition of the individual because of the changes, adjustments, and reorientation that this circumstance or condition demands. During this evolutionary process, the individual can also become attracted to others, possibly leading to a love affair, especially when the person is feeling unloved, unfulfilled, or unacknowledged within the existing conditions of his or her life. 
because of the deep inner urges to become more creative and to take charge of personal destiny that are welling up from the soul, the individual can now be subconsciously attracted to those who help fulfill and promote these needs. A love affair can satisfy the need for recognition and the need to be considered special and important. Such attraction during this time will be intense and spellbinding. Those drawn by the individual will be very magnetic and powerful and others will perceive the individual in this light as well. Some encounters will be brief though intense and others can be long lasting even developing into a life partnership. I'm just being called to say any of you obviously who are listening and this has happened to or whether it's in the past, present or or it will happen to or has the possibility of happening to in the future, you can see how it has everything to do with transiting Pluto going through your fifth house because the fifth house is the natural house of true love, children, and creativity. Okay. If the individual is already in a relationship, this situation can certainly threaten it. Some will feel completely torn and divided. They will be in love with both the new person and the existing person. The basis of this situation, again, is that the individual was not feeling enough love, attention, or recognition from the existing relationship. The individual may have also experienced denial or repression of his or her new creative needs and purposes in the existing partnership. Such a situation will subconsciously set up the, op the opening to become involved with or attracted to another who will fulfill these needs. Either the existing partner must change his or her own emotional orientation to allow for and encourage the individual to actualize whatever is needed in order to express the new life purpose, or the relationship will most likely be terminated at this time. This potential event would symbolize the need to take charge of the personal destiny so that the individual could recreate it in such a way as to reflect the new creative impulses emerging from the depths of the soul. Physical problems that can occur during this evolutionary process would manifest in the heart, circulation and blood flow, decrease in constitutional strength and vitality, sharp fluctuations in energy levels because of stress, boils, abscesses, tumors, and problems associated with the third eye chakra. In summary, this process promotes a reformulation of the individual's purpose in life, new dimensions of personal capacities and possibilities will surge forth from the depths of the soul. By taking charge of his or her personal destiny, the individual will recreate the self in some way if he or she can follow the inner creative urges and outer environmental feedback as they manifest. This process may require elimination of preconceived ideas and beliefs about the life purpose and destiny. If the individual stubbornly resists going with the new order, then he or she will be blocked and stifled from further development and creative expression. Thus, rather than experiencing a creative renaissance, the individual will experience a decay and blockage of creative expression. Okay, that is all from this book, but I am being called to, to also say that if any of you have any planets 
in the fifth house or in hard aspect, which would be, of course, in the fifth house would be conjunct, opposition, or square, that's also going to just add to the complexity of what is going on in what I read with transiting Pluto. And also, a big deal would be if you have it, um, your nodes of the moon in hard aspect to this transiting Pluto. So you could also, again, planets or north or south node that are in hard aspect, which means conjunct, are in the fifth house, or in opposition or square to transiting Pluto that is going through your fifth house. It's a huge deal. It's a huge deal just reading this. So um, if you are in need and desiring any further detailed information for you and whatever you're going through at this time, I specialize in the nodes of the moon and that is a big deal because that is, if you don't know your nodes of the moon, that is each and every one of our personal work in this life and it's put in our subconscious. And again, I find that Chiron, a lot of times the wounded healer, where we have trauma and we will be traumatized throughout life until you know consciously what house position and what sign your Chiron is in, you will keep cycling in that area too. And so if you have Pluto in hard aspect, especially transiting Pluto or natal Pluto, but transiting Pluto is what we're talking about right now, then you're gonna to wanna to know what your Chiron is. So Chiron is the main, the strongest major asteroid in everybody's natal wheel. Okay, I was just called to say that for any of you who are searching and want to know. Um, I give private readings again, and if that sounds right for you, please uh, reach out to me. I would be happy to help you. That's why I'm here. This is why I made this channel. Okay, so I hope this has helped. Until next time, thank you.